Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to help you with um, scripts uh, coding. So scripts um, basically is going to give uh, the buttons some functionality. So right now I'm creating a grocery list checklist and I have here all the um, all the sessions right in the grocery store that I'm gonna make it it's like easier for me to go when and when I'm shopping to take a look at per like departments or per section so but I want to be able to reuse this checklist over and over again and let's say here you know I wrote this down and then I used my Google Sheets app on the store and then I checked every item right that I purchased uh, so when I want to reuse this, I want to clear everything. So for me to come over here and uncheck every single checkbox manually, it's going to take forever, right? Uh, and the whole point of using spreadsheets is to make your life easier, to make your life more productive um, and to save you time. So let me show you, I'm gonna add two functions in here and I'm gonna show you how to use uh, ChatGPT. So even if you don't know how to code, uh, you can still do this. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna go to extensions first things you're gonna go to app scripts And then on the windows gonna pop up and I have some function in here that I was using for something else But I can add a new one and just come and uh, you're gonna just delete whatever is in here And then you're gonna start copying what ChatGPT gives to you, but I'm gonna create a new one just so it's not confusing and here it's going to call uh, clear, clear all. I'm just going to name this clear all. So this is what you're going to see when you first open your app script. It's going to be empty. And you're just going to delete this. And then we're going to go over to ChatGPT. And we're going to tell ChatGPT, we're going to, hi, ch oops. Hi, Chatty. I am working on Google Sheets and I need your help writing a script for my button can you assist and it's gonna say yeah blah 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 now you need to give ChatGPT more information so we're gonna go back to your spreadsheet and you're gonna be like um sorry let me do this just delete this so here is going to be named checklist and now here on ChatGPT, but you're going to give first the thing you're going to do, you're going to give the name of the tab that you're working on. So you're going to go here, say, I have a tab named checklist. And I have some checkboxes on cells that I need to clear once a button is pressed. Now, um, here are the ranges where my checkbox check boxes are on and then you're gonna go over here and you're gonna select all the ranges that have uh, the check boxes so you, since there are spaces around you're gonna have to go one by one so this range and you should just come over here and copy this and put a comma go back here get the second one comma come over here feel free to skip this video I'm gonna some people like to see the whole entire process so I'm gonna oops copy the wrong thing see people some people like to see the whole process so uh, if you don't just either speed up or skip this part so I'm going to keep doing this all the way to the end of this spreadsheet. It's okay if you click on the checkbox. You can still, it's still going to give you the range that you're working on. And then this one. Oh my gosh, I keep doing this. Why don't we keep copying that part? 
My brain is not functioning well today. Okay, let's get A's range. And then this one. Again, seriously, <laughs> send help. I think I need some sleep. All right, I copy that again. Oh my gosh, my brain does not want to cooperate today. This one. Seriously. Oh my gosh. If you're doing this on your spreadsheet, go on the Facebook group. Let me know if you kept doing this too. <laughs> it can be just my brain. Seriously. Okay. Almost done. Almost done. Nope. Pop that again. Oh, caught myself. <laughs> oh my goodness. Somebody help. All right. Let, <laughs> last row of checkboxes. And this one. Finally, here we go. Okay, now let's see what Charlie says. All right, so oh, it's going to give you the code inside of this black box. It's a JavaScript box. Uh, it says right here the type of coding that you wrote, and it's correct. Um, App scripts and Google Sheets use JavaScript. Uh, so then it says here function clear check boxes and then it's getting the the sheet by name this is why it's important to always give chat to pt the name of your tab uh, if you don't it's gonna get whatever active um tab is on when you click the button so it might not work if you're in a different tab and then what do you go back here we go now it says there's a variable ranges to clear and these are all the things, the, the ranges that you entered. And then here it says, um, clear checkbox by setting its value to false. So all you gotta do is just come over here, copy the code, go back to your little app script window, and then click Control V. Then you're gonna save and you're gonna run. Now here it says execution started, execution completed, which means there was no bugs in this code. Now let's go back here. And now you see that you removed my checkboxes. Or did I have it removed it? So let's go over here. So now we're gonna do, we're gonna assign this coding, this code to the button. So you're just gonna copy this, clear checkboxes. And then here you click on your button. If you don't know how to draw a button, uh, there's another video in the membership that I teach you how to how to draw it. Just go on the roadmap and look for the how to draw a button or something like that. So uh, let's click here, assign script, control V. So it says clear checkboxes. That's it. Just click OK. Now let's select some checkboxes here just so we can make sure it is working. And you click clear all, now all check boxes are gone. So let's make sure that you cut all, actually I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make sure all of the things are catching. I'm just pressing the space bar. The space bar um, will check or uncheck all your check boxes. And I'm selected the, the column because all my check box boxes are in one column. So let is, let's test again. Perfect. So all my check boxes are uh, cleared. Now, um, what I hear is to clear all check boxes. Now let's say um, I don't want this stuff here every time, right? I want um, 
I want to enter only the things that I do want to buy on uh, the, the grocery store. So we're going to have to clear all the text. text. Now, um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to select this. Actually, here. Let me see if this is going to work. Um, please change the letters to the, how do I say this, to the next letter. I don't know. Please replace. Don't know if this is going to work and I've done this before. Nope. Okay. Now, let's do this. I should it please replace the letters on this text to the following letter on the alphabet. For example, so here B9, I want to be C9. Now, E, oops, hold on, for example, B9 will change to, if I would change to, just going to give some examples and see if we'll follow me, if not, we'll just move, change it manually. Oh man. I mean, it did it. Now I just need, please combine them as per original text. Let's see if that will work. Nope, did not work. <laughs> um, please, um, Remove arrows and add commas. It's hmm. good enough. Wait. Please remove all original letters. That's not going to work. Oh my gosh. No, I want to <laughs> just want the results. This is taking longer than it should. Let me just copy this. Go back here. And copy this. Uh, just move, remove B. This is just so I don't have to copy over all of the the ranges again. Ah! But I don't know, this is taking longer than copying the ranges. <laughs> uh. Yeah, if you can tweak your 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 um, what do you say? If you can tweak your prompt, maybe it will give you the thing to be faster. Okay, now I'm gonna say I have a tab named checklist, and I have I have some text on cells that I need to clear once the button is pressed. Here are the ranges where my checkboxes are on. Let me see if that gives me the coding. Beautiful. So let's go ahead, copy this code, come back here. I'm gonna enter it on the same window because that's okay, but if you want, you can also create a new one here and you can uh, rename this. So let's go back, wait. 
and then let's apply this to the button just click ok now let me see I hope it works you can always control Z if it doesn't work oh. did I okay I did not save see when I, I press this and then it says uh, script function clear text could not be found and that is only because I did not save my script there we go let's try it again now all the text is gone and you can just come over here and you can enter you know chicken ground beef blah 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 whatever you need for that day and then come over here select this once you purchased in store um, and then you can clear the check boxes and then you can clear all the text and ta-da <laughs> that is it I hope this video was helpful uh, if it was please go on the Facebook group and let the others know and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching